Hello everyone and welcome back to another a must-see, a very beautiful chess problem from a real chess king. In this chess game we have Boris Gelfand with the white pieces and his opponent with the black pieces was Valery Solov. This chess game happened in 1996. So this is the picture of Boris Gelfand, the Israeli very strong legendary chess grandmaster and he is considered uh, as one of the best chess players in 1990s, 2000s. So he was six times a challenger for the World Chess Championship title. He never became the World Chess Champion, but he was one of the top contenders. And this is one of his amazing chess games. So can you see some of the winning moves in this chess game for white? I will show you some of the key moves. So, okay, let's check out what happened in the game. Actually, even in this position, black has a very strong move. Sorry, white has a very strong move. Uh, white has bishop to f4, but can you see what's happening here? What's the main threat for white? What would you do in this position? Uh, so black has to move the king. In this position, if you play something like h6, uh, can you see what happens? It is white to move. It is not so obvious, but I think it should not be also too difficult. Uh, basically, in this position, if you can get rid of this bishop, uh, this rook is undefended. So how to do that? The move is uh, rook to d6 and we are threatening to take the bishop and if capturing back, uh, capturing the rook with the pawn after rook takes bishop, let's say if black doesn't want to lose the queen, then we are going to take the rook. So bishop takes on d6 is going to fail to bishop takes on d6 and good luck defending the checkmate threat. There is double threat, queen to e7, and also attacking the rook, this bishop is pinned. So if defending like this, the only defense, simply getting checkmated, eh, sorry, simply losing the rook, the bishop is pinned, you can only block with the queen, and this is all over. So, okay, eh, king to f8 happened, black felt uncomfortable in this position, and now what would you do? It is white to move. I wonder if you can see the next move for white. Uh, it is not so obvious, it is not so easy, but it is also not rocket science. So I will give you three seconds. If you want, you can also pause the video and try to figure out on your own. So your time is starting from now. Okay, so the move is Rook to d7. This is the move. Blocking the bishop, threatening to take the Rook with check, only defense is with the bishop, capturing and getting checkmated. And at the same time attacking the bishop, so what else? Bishop takes on d7. If rook to e8, then we simply take the bishop and then check, check and getting checkmated. So bishop takes on d7, queen takes double threat, attacking the bishop and attacking the rook. So check. If rook to e8, then we simply take the bishop and then pinning the rook. Black has to give up the queen for surviving. So check and then rook to e8, but it should be pretty easy. What would you do? The move is rook takes on e7. Ooh, rook takes on e7, what else? And then bishop to d6. And in this position, black is giving up the queen. If you give the flight square to the king, it doesn't make any sense. Then we have check and basically black is getting checkmated. So pinning and capturing and they played few more moves in this position. Actually, a white is threatening to take the pawn or a knight to c6 and then capturing the rook. So the rook is pinned, rook to h6, but still pinning the rook. And after this move, black resigned because black is going to lose the exchange as well. So if something like rook to f6, you don't blunder because in this position, if you take the pawn, this is going to be a blunder because of rook takes knight. And if you take the rook, basically there is back rank checkmate and white is getting checkmated. So you have to be careful in this position. There is a very strong move, a strong defensive move, and that is king to g1. I think pushing the h pawn should also do the trick and some random move. And then knight takes on f5. And if basically g6, uh, we have this move and you have to give up 
and this should be winning for white. So in this position, this is also losing. White has the queen and black has the rook. It should be winning easily for white. Okay, so what do you think about this fantastic chess problem from a real chess game? And I hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games and chess problems. So stay safe, take care and bye bye.